people to change my voice. Because they interfered, obviously I forbid the white Jews, the LGBT, token minorities, military police, and everyone else according to their deeds from talking about God that much more. The eternal punishment on them and their offspring is increased. Obviously this is not racism, this is just the truth, the facts. They're doing it for their groups. Okay, and those people who are persecuting me in a racist manner, you're going to have to ever, forever live with that disgrace. And I will also hold it against your offspring until they are mo no more in the flesh and they're just in eternal punishment forever. There's no excuse for what you did. Anyone related to that, the offspring of that, must be at extreme odds with God and they will be treated as such in the afterlife forever. Now, in Hosea 10, I was talking about verse 3. And I read the chapter in the part one. It says, Then they will say we have no king because we did not revere the Lord. But even if we had a king, what could he do for us? Okay, so people who were outside the divine order, some kind of worm, who even if they had a martial art king, right? There's a reason that the king wears his sword. There's nothing that can be done for them because they're too cowardly to obey God through him. And after I'm gone, they'll have no king. So Hosea 10 is key as Luke 23 quotes it, and also Samuel, where it talks about, listen to what the people are telling you. It is not you if they have rejected as king, but it is me. So Samuel uh, was told by God that because they rejected him, they had rejected God because God appointed them. God set me apart. Again, John 10, how much more the one God set apart as very own, the top martial arts ever, Exodus 15, 3, the Lord is the warrior, the Lord is his name. Now, it takes some kind of shallow, white, racist person, some kind of yuppie, some kind of frat person to miss the significance of being the Royal African Falcon top martial arts. Okay, they, they don't misunderstand the arguments being made in the Black Panther cartoon, but the Royal African Falcon, it goes far beyond the idea of the Black Panther. Magically, they don't get it set apart by God as the anointed one. That's silly. Okay, so let's go to John 11, the plot to kill Jesus. Therefore, many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary... And had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief Pharisees and the Pharisees, excuse me, then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing? They ask. Here is the man performing, here is this man performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And then the Romans will come and take away our temple and our nation. Then one of them named Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. Of course, he was the high priest of Satan, okay, of the Jews who chose to live outside the divine order, the Jews who choose not to obey God to me, which is all of them right now, every single last one. That's what Jesus said. It's the kingdom of heaven will be taken away from you because all of you failed. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, in Genesis or whatever it was when God said, he said, for the sake of a few, he would spare the town. Okay, well, there's not even a single one of them that obeys God through me, and it's too late to salvage the situation for them. So the kingdom of heaven has been taken away from them with no way back. Okay, and of course, everyone outside the divine order, but a special emphasis on them as they made themselves the center of attention, the center of the story for all these years. Okay, uh, again, it's just a story, but you know, because of the you know, they, they you know, they went around the world and all these churches and synagogues and mosques and so on and so forth. Anyway, where are we here? Um, he did not say this on his own, but as high priest of Satan, that year he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation. And not only for the nation, but also for the scattered children of God to bring them together and make them one. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Of course, I added the word Satan because it's obvious that that's what they're getting at. I want to make sure people don't miss that. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Okay, because he's from the synagogue of Satan and not really a Jew, right? Therefore, Jesus no longer removed. Excuse me, there, excuse me. Therefore, Jesus no longer moved about publicly among the people of Judea. Instead, he withdrew to a region in the, near the wilderness, to a village called Ephraim, where he stayed with his disciples. Okay, so let's just go ahead to John 19. I'll, you know, touch on John uh, 16, 17, and 18 in part three for context. Okay. John 19. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. Obviously, Pilate was a coward, and it is disgraceful that many in the West pretend that he wasn't. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. 
They clothed him in a purple robe and went to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and they slapped him in the face. Okay, so you see how they're mocking Jesus. This part's important. As much as it's annoying and it's childish and there's a bunch of gay Satanists, you know, acting like clowns when you read parts like this, um, it is key. Okay, they said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they slapped him and they put on a purple robe. So purple... Uh, you know, you see all these Satanists wearing purple. They're mocking. It's a color of mocking. It's like scarlet, you know, becomes worn by the whore that rode the beast and the prostitute Babylon and so on and so forth. In Revelation, they're mocking God. The purple is the color of mocking God. It's a play on words for rape, okay, um, for rape L or something like that. See here, rape pole, right? So they're, they're cult center, their phallic symbol, their reproductive cycle. Okay, so they said, hey, we're not going to obey moral precision, right? It's a story with a moral. It's the Bible. So very much moral precision is the moral of the story, right? And they're saying that they're working for the government. They're in the military and police, and they refuse to bow down to God. And the same thing is happening right now, okay? There's no other way possible to look at it. Once more, Pilate came out and said to the Jews gathered there, look, I am bringing him out to you to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Here is the man. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they said, Crucify him, crucify him. But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. We have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the Son of God. And obviously, I am the Son of God. And fuck your little elf law, your Frodo Baggins law. Okay, I laugh at it. Okay, and every every second, two people on average die. You think they're laughing at their maker when they meet him? No, I have the upper hand, you fucking fools. Hey, the Jews will go on to say that anyone who claims to be a king op opposes Caesar. Pilate sat down at a place known as, uh, as the Stone Pavement, which in Aramaic is Gay Bath A, Gabatha. Okay, whatever the hell it is, right? It's a plan words for gay. Bat, ha, and bat is an Egyptian deity. Is long story why that is. It was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about noon. They insisted they have no king but Caesar. And Pilate went down in history, in the history of the universe, in the story as a bitch. And all who are like him in reality went out like bitches in reality. They crucified him at the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. And this is not a coincidence that Golgotha is Golgotha or Got Gol H, where the H is an ancient symbol for the fence. This is not a coincidence as the Bible is by Bell, a.k.a. by Ball, and like the deity Ball, it confuses and traps people. Also, boxing and fencing are called that for a reason. While there will never be a true outdoor sparring challenge again after I die, I am sure we can all agree that the people who ordered this and all involved are too damn immature to appreciate that it, what is at stake. But they do things in a way that makes it clear that they know enough to be punished for their rebellion, evil, complicity with rape by deception, cowardice, and more. Also, their evil souls and genes make it clear cut that their offspring are guilty and condemned as well. Is it doing God justice to not mention this? Even the word mention is a play on words for men shun. And what are the consequences for shunning God the Father and the last manly king ever, the last man in standing, the last valid king ever, what have you? The idea of actually obeying God in the divine order and being willing to die for God was crucified and the possibility of dying for God no longer exists in the minds of Westerners and to this day there is no proof that a Westerner ever lived or died for God and certainly those who obey them have not. Okay, of course I don't consider myself a Westerner. I was born in America but my culture is not of this world. Pilate made a sign that said Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. The Jews protested and wanted the sign read that he claimed to be the King of the Jews and Pilate refused. The soldiers took his clothes and divided them into four pieces, and this is not a coincidence. They cast lots for his undergarments. It is possible that they took it as some kind of sick pagan trophy, similar to people taking ears in Vietnam and what many serial killers do, etc. They gave him wine vinegar. When he drank it, he said, It is finished. He bowed his head and gave God his spirit, and righteousness is said to have left there logically. Never forget that he was mocked and poisoned in the West, as I am. And it was for sexual control, and so they can pretend that they are important first and foremost. They still seek to cover up that they didn't man up and do not man up. 